Hello, hello. So for those of you who don't know me, I am Shannon Shine, and I'm doing a quick video here, um, mainly for one of my chakra courses, but I figured this would be a good video for all of my YouTube and social medias. And we're going to be talking about pendulums. So in my chakra course, um, you receive a packet of goodies if you get the toolkit with the, the course. And one of the items that is included is a pendulum. Now I haven't talked about it a lot during the course because I typically talk about pendulums in my intro to energy healing course and um, my other um, intro to chakra course. So in the deeper course, I feel like I haven't got to really discuss it as much as I would like to. So some of you have been asking like, how do I check my chakras with a pendulum? How does a pendulum work in general? Um, things like that. So I'm gonna do my best to show you, and it might be a little bit hard to see in this video, but I'm gonna do my best to explain it. So a pendulum is an item, usually a crystal or um, a stone of some kind that hangs from a chain and has like a little ball or a charm or something that you can hold onto up here. Now this one I'm using today is actually a chakra organite pendulum. And to check your chakras, you don't have to have a chakra pendulum. Any pendulum will work. Um, when I first started my spiritual journey, I didn't have a pendulum. So I would use, um, I even put like a button on a string and I would test out different things like that. As long as it can kind of hang and is evenly balanced so it's um, not overly weighted one way or the other is a great way to check with a pendulum. So... First of all, you got to figure out what your yes and what your no is and how to clear it. And for some people, this might be different. So for me, I like to hold it and I don't hold it exactly at the ball. I put the chain and the ball kind of between my fingers here and I hold it up. Some people hold it like this. I like to hold it like this because I feel like it's the way I get the steadiest hand. And you're going to want a pretty steady hand because you're not going to want to... Um, really sway the energy of it. That's kind of a, a lot of people are like, oh, you can choose which way it goes. If you hold your hand pretty still, you can see the pendulum's not really moving that widely because I haven't asked it anything yet. And I cleared it. To clear it, you kind of calm down the chain and you get it sitting still before you ask it a question. Some people just go like this around it. Um, now you do want to like sage your pendulum and stuff every so often to clear it and all that fun stuff. I like to put mine out with my crystals to charge during the full moon. Anyway, as you can see, it's, it's pretty still right here. It's jiggling a little bit because it can feel how excited my energy is. Now, a lot of people like to ask it yes or no. Usually for me, it's around in a circle or back and forth. Um, for some people, it's, um, it's left to right is one way, back, uh, forward to backward is another way so now that I've confused my pendulum and clear it here and I want it to show me which way yes is so it's going to start kind of tingling around and it's going and it's starting to spin in a circle and mine is spinning in right motion so clockwise motion is a yes for me or an open now I want to know if my no is either back and forth or left the, the backwards spiral. So it's just kind of thinking. All right, so my no is from left to right, just back and forth with this pendulum instead of in a circle. So as you can see, those are two very different motions. The big circle is a yes, the back and forth is a no for me. Now yours might be different. Um, depending on how your energy works. Most of the time that's about what it is, or if it just doesn't move at all, that's a no or an uncertain, and it means the energy is not able to push it in a certain direction. Um, and then some people, like I said, it would be the circular motion, but counterclockwise instead of clockwise. So now let's check our chakras real quick. Um, typically I start really low with the root chakra, which you can't see here in the video. Um, and you can do this on yourself and you can do it on another person. Now, when I work with other people, I lay them down. That way my aura doesn't affect the reading for their aura, because if they're laying down, their aura's um, energy field is this way, horizontal, where mine is vertical. And 
Um, if you do it like face to face, like let's say I have my patient or client right in front of me, my energy field can go out as far as like six feet. That's usually how we say get out of my bubble. Um, I know that's a big bubble, but um, your energies will kind of start to collide. Where if one's horizontal and one's vertical, that's a slightly different field and it's easier to test on another person. Now on yourself, you just want to be able to hold it real still. Again, I got the ball up here between my finger or the charm, whatever yours has, and I'm going to hold it about three inches from my chakra. So I'm going to start kind of low and you won't be able to see this, but it's going a little bit. It's not very open. Um, I've been a little ungrounded the last couple days. So let's see here. Actually, let me move my video back so you guys can see me better. Sorry for that. All right. Now you can kind of see. So I am going to move on up to my sacral, which is right here, um, right below my belly button. And let's see what it says here. Cleared. So it's starting to go in a circle. It is going clockwise. It's not super open, not as open as probably some of my other chakras, but it's open. Could use a little bit of work. So I'm gonna bring it to my belly button now and do my solar plexus. And it's gonna take this one a second, I'm pretty sure, because my solar plexus usually needs work. Building those interpersonal relationships with family. But as you can see, it's it's open. It actually might be a little bit more open right now than my sacral. Um, I just had family visit from Florida and stuff, so I've been really excited to see them there. You guys see it? It's getting bigger and bigger. Like the more I'm talking about them and the more I'm thinking about them and how that connection has been building. So that's a, that's a really cool way. And I just noticed in the video it might be going counterclockwise because my phone records and mirror for some reason. So if that confuses you, I'm sorry. Now my heart chakra, let's see here, clear it, put my hand up here, heart chakra, it's right here in your chest, you can just kind of hold it. And my heart chakra is getting bigger, could probably use some work. Our heart chakra is where we do a lot of self-love and I've been so busy lately it's been hard for me to do any of that self-care but it is open. Now if it was going to be closed it wouldn't be moving as much and it would be going back and forth. So um, hopefully none of my chakras are closed but it's hard to tell. Um, if yours just kind of sits there and doesn't go in any direction, it doesn't necessarily mean it's closed. It probably just means it needs some work. Most chakras aren't fully closed unless you went through a super traumatic event. So now I'm going to do my throat chakra. And as we move further up these chakras, it's better and better to do this in front of a mirror. I have a nice like length, like full length mirror and I like to do things in front of um, and, and test so I can see because once we get to the crown, you're not going to be able to. Now, as you can see, my throat chakra is really open because I'm talking to all of you guys. I'm a speaker. I love to talk and communicate. So as you can see, my throat chakra is probably the most open of all of my chakras. And we're going to move up to my third eye. And I had some pretty crazy dreams, but it looks like my third eye might be the most closed right now. Wow, I need to do some more meditation. I haven't meditated enough this week. And it's the first one that's kind of going back and forth. So this is spirit telling me that my third eye needs some work. So much so it's actually hitting me in the third eye. Okay, so I need to meditate and eat some third eye chakra foods and get focused. And I think that's maybe because my intuition has been giving me a lot of different signs and messages that I've been avoiding. like take a nap and give yourself some rest. So probably gonna do that this week. And then our crown chakra is a little harder for us to see ourselves. You might be able to feel it, but this is really where you're gonna need a mirror. Um, luckily I can see it in my camera here. And it's going around and it's opening. So it's funny, my third eye is a little closed, but my crown is pretty open. Um, 
I think it just means that I need to listen to my messages a little clearer. So that's just kind of an um, idea of how you can use your pendulum. I had some people asking questions about it. And if you, um, if you want to ask it other things, you can. Again, you just ask it what it's yes or no is. Um, some people like to say my name is Shannon and it'll show you which way it's going. Now, if I say my name is, let's see, I've got a clear here. My name is, I don't know, Rachel. It starts going kind of, yeah, it goes the no, obviously, because my name is not Rachel. <laughs> so that works to, to give you a hint. Some people have little mats with like yeses and nos and letters, and that gets kind of more into like Ouija board territory. Um, I just like to use my pendulum for simple things. And if you have any other questions, please let me know. Again, you can do these over um, a client, a friend, a family member. I even do it over pets sometimes um, just to check in with their energy field. Now, some healers will say that each chakra is supposed to go one direction and then another direction. And then in that way, it's like kind of like a set of years. Personally, with all the clients I've worked with, it's never been that way. It's either a yes or a no that they need work in that area. So whatever works for you, um, if you feel more connected to the other method of using it, I suggest that you follow your heart and your intuition. So until next time, I hope you stay awake and shine on always. And if you need a pendulum, you can find a pendulum that suits you at shineshopping.online. And yeah, so stay awake, shine on always. Bye!